Ladies and gentlemen, Rodney Connor is joined on the court by his mother, Shirley Connor, father, George Huggins, brother, Timothy Connor, and sisters, Stephanie and Melissa Connor. Rodney was a member of four conference championship teams, two NCAA tournament teams, including one that defeated Maryland in the first round, and two NIT teams, one that defeated Tennessee in the first round. His 1997 team finished the season ranked 16th nationally in the final AP poll. Over four years, his teams combined for 101 wins and only 17 losses. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the video board for a brief video. Rodney Connor is a graduate of Orangeburg Wilkinson High School in Orangeburg, South Carolina. He was a very wiry, long, athletic player, fundamentally sound in scoring, rebounding, and defense. He played dual positions, mostly at forward, but sometimes at center. Looking back at my 23 years at the helm, he was the best defensive player I ever coached. Rodney had the knack of making the big play at either end of the court to secure a victory in wins against Maryland, Tennessee, Arizona State, and Stanford, Rodney was at his best. He always sacrificed for the benefit of his fellow teammates and epitomized the role of team player. In his senior year, he made the Great Alaska Shootout All Tournament Team, the Franklin Life Classic, and Transamerica Athletic Conference All Tournament Teams. He is currently general manager of the Sleep In Hotel in Charleston. Rodney, Congratulations and a big thanks for your contributions and a wonderful career. Ladies and gentlemen, President Benson, Joe Hall, and John Cress are happy to present Rodney with a framed replica of his jersey to commemorate this exciting day. And now, please direct your attention to the rafters for the lowering of Connor's banner. Stacy Harris is joined today by his wife Tanya and his daughters Simone and Grace. Stacy played with Rodney and was a member of four championship teams, two NCAA tournament teams, and two NIT teams. His 1997 team finished the season ranked 16th nationally. Overall, he was a part of 101 wins and only 17 losses as a Cougar. Now, please again direct your attention to the video board for a brief video. Harris, three-pointer at the buzzer. It's all over! It's all over! It's all over! They're going crazy! It's a Cougars win! Stacy Harris is a graduate of West Potomac High School in Alexandria, Virginia. He was one of the most popular and exciting players to ever have performed at the College of Charleston. He was a combo and dual position player who played in the backcourt and also at small forward. Through dedication and hard work, he improved dramatically from his freshman to senior year, always the last to leave the gym. In his rookie season, he made the Low Country Classic All Tournament team with terrific games and wins against Penn State and Alabama. On the national stage, in the NCAA tournament, the Big Dance, he scored 22 in a victory over Maryland and hit for 25 in a loss to the eventual national champion, the University of Arizona. When asked to rise to the occasion, Stacy always had his best games, a go-to player. He now lives in Kingsport, Tennessee, where he works for the Eastman Chemical Company in their human resource office. Stacy, congratulations and a big thanks for your contributions and a stellar career. Once again, President Benson, Joe Hall, and John Cress are happy to present Stacy with a framed replica of his jersey to commemorate this day. Please direct your attention to the rafters for the lowering of Harris's banner. Yeah. 
Jermel President is joined on the court by his fiancée, Duran Campbell, Sterling Pena, and his son, Jermel Jr. President was a member of four conference championship teams and one NIT team. His 1997 and 1999 teams finished the seasons ranked 16 in the final AP poll. And over the course of his career, President was part of 106 wins and only 16 losses. Again, direct your attention to the video board for another video. Circle the right this time for Brooker. Lay it up and in. Jamel President on the fast break. Jamel President grew up less than a mile from the College of Charleston and graduated from Burke High School. He was as hard-nosed and spirited as any player I have ever coached. On the defensive end, he always guarded our opponent's best scorer. His jump shot was picture perfect. And he iced many games with his foul shots. In fact, in his senior year, he ranked fourth nationally from the foul strike. He played in the backcourt with Anthony Johnson, and they made a magnificent duo. In an NCAA game against Stanford at the United Center in Chicago, Jamel was voted Chevrolet Player of the Game. After graduation from the college, Jamel has given so much back to the community. He presents to youngsters seminars in SAT taking and academics and conducts clinics and camps teaching the ABCs of basketball. He is also president and CEO of the Day Foundation. Jamel, congratulations and a big thanks for your contributions and the role model you have become for the youth of Charleston. President Benson, Joe Hall, and John Kress are again happy to present Jermel with a framed replica of his jersey to commemorate this exciting day. And now, please direct your attention to the rafters for the lowering of President's banner. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, let's have one last round of applause for Rodney Connor, Stacy Harris, and Jermel President on this momentous occasion.